Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for this time that we can come and we can praise and we can worship you and we can honor you, that we hear your word. We just ask that you will be blessed today. Father, I'm asking for the spirit, your spirit, Father God, to come upon us as we worship you, as we sing to you, as we declare, as we read your word, Father God, that that you will be blessed by our praise as we minister unto you. In return, God, you always minister unto us as we declare you are good, as we declare that you are our refuge, you are our shelter, you are our strength, you are our shield, our high tower, you are our God, you are our king, you are our master, that we love you, we need you exceedingly. And we're not ashamed to admit we need you, we need you. And we just thank you for this time together. We love you, Lord God. We ask that you just come thick, full, and free. And we thank you for it. Amen. And I want to welcome you on the internet. We are going to have this portion first, and then we will turn off the live because right now we are not um, legally licensed to play our worship and praise live right now. So what when we end this portion, I would ask that you continue on with songs that you love to sing to the Lord, songs that minister to him as you sing them and ministers to your heart. So don't just listen to the scriptures and just shut it all off. Keep on with God, okay? All right. So, through the years, God has had me um, read scriptures as part of the teaching or as the whole service. And the scripture he'd given me years ago is in 1 Timothy 4, 3, where Paul talked to him. He said, devote yourself to the public reading of the scripture. And so, as I... these. I am not going to give you the um, actual scripture reference. I have them all down here because it stops the flow. As he gave this to me, it's just like it just continues on. Thought after thought after thought. And when it says praise, most of the time when this says praise, it's the word hallelujah. Give a hallelujah to the Lord. So I'm just going to read these scriptures. If you want the reference later, you can come look at it. or I can send you what I printed off, okay? So, most of these, in fact, I think all of them are out of the New King James Version. And this is what he gave for us to do as we minister unto the Lord today. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Praise him highly, all you peoples. For his merciful kindness is great toward us. And the truth of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. His own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. This people I have formed for myself. They shall declare my praise. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Praise the Lord. It is good to sing praises to our God. For it is pleasant and praise is beautiful. One version says praise looks good on you. And it does, doesn't it? I will praise the name of God with a song. And remember in the Old Testament and the New Testament, when you look up that word name, it means his character, his nature, his authority. So I will praise the name of God 
with a song, and I will magnify him with thanksgiving. When you begin to thank God, it's like you have a magnifying glass in front of you, and he gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So I will magnify God with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than a sacrifice of an ox or a bull. Therefore, through Jesus, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. I will sacrifice to you with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay what I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. And remember, salvation means rescue, health, safety, deliverance, prosperity, mind, soul, peace. It's an all-inclusive word. It doesn't just mean you pray a prayer and go to heaven or you escape hell. It means all those words that I said. Salvation is of the Lord. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. We need that sometimes, don't we? Yeah. There's our, yeah, all the time we need that. That's our answer. When we need deliverance, when we need health and rescue and safety, when we need peace in our soul, we call upon the Lord and we praise him. I will bless the Lord at all times. That means good times, bad times, scary times, all times. I will, praise, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his name, in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who rejoice, those who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength, not your own. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face forevermore. Remember his marvelous works which he has done his wonders, and the judgments of his mouth. He is the Lord, our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Remember his covenant forever. The word which he commanded for a thousand generations. The covenant which he made with Abraham. An everlasting covenant. And from one kingdom to another. His people. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is also to be feared or highly reverenced above all gods, for all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and gladness are in his place. Give to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory do his name. Bring an offering and come before him. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before him, all the earth. The world also is firmly established. It shall not be moved. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. And let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Let the sea roar and all its fullness. Let the field rejoice and all that is in it. 
Then the trees of the woods shall rejoice before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. And say, save us, O God, of our salvation. Save us. Gather us together to give thanks to your holy name, to triumph in your praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. And all the people said, Amen. Amen. And praised the Lord. Hallelujah. (laughs) Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song and his praise in the assembly of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name with the dance. Let them sing praises to him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory and let them sing aloud on their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance on the nations. Those are demonic nations. And punishment on the peoples. To bind their kings, the demonic kings, with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute on them the written judgment. This honor has all his saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing praises to his name, for it is pleasant. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth, O oh, sing praises to the Lord. O oh, Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name. For you have done wonderful things. Your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in his holy mountain. Beautiful in evelation, in evelation. Is that the word? Evelation. I was going to say revelation. That's true too. Beautiful in revelation. But it's beautiful in its evelation. Evelation. Elevation. (laughs) I knew I'd get it one of these days. Okay, I'm going to start over. If I can do it this time. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in his holy mountain, beautiful in elevation, in its height. The joy of the whole earth. We're to be the joy of the whole earth because we have the answer. It's him. The city of the great king. God is in her palaces. Don't you love that? God is in her palaces. He is known as her refuge. We have thought, O God, on your loving kindness. And we have, haven't we? We meditate on that. We have thought, O God, on your loving kindness in the midst of your temple. According to your name, O God, so is your praise to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice And let the daughters and the sons of Judah, which is praise, be glad because of your judgments. Because he judges the enemy so that he can set us free. So we're to praise him for that. For this is God, our God, forever and ever. He will be our guide forever. I love that. For this, everything I've been reading, for this is our God. Our God forever and ever. 
He will be our guide forever. Praise the Lord. Let us honor you with our whole hearts today as we sing and as we declare corporately. May you be blessed, Lord God Almighty. May we be called ministers of our Lord and of our God. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. And fill our mouth along with Jesus, as you said in Hebrews. He praises the Most High God in the midst of the congregation. May it be so, yes, and amen.